Okay, you guys, check it out. This is where we're at right now. I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour, and then uh, I'm going to do a video and show you how we got to this point. So check it out. Let's check it out. We've got most of the interior done, the side walls. I've got one more wall to put up there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do cabinets or a shelf. The floor's in. The walls are all done. Um, I still got to put some trim around the corners piece of cake I got a light switch here for the interior lights and the rock lights under the door we got the old school keystone mags how about that that was a freebie they were sitting out in the backyard from the old rat rod days got a switch panel here with the 12 volt and USB ports got the uh, fuse block all set up there most of the wiring is all in place I've got to drill some holes and attach it um, Anyway, yeah, you guys, it's looking pretty sweet. So, anyway, I am going to show you guys a video here of how we got it to this point. So, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Like if you do, subscribe if you haven't, so you don't miss this thing finished up. And, uh, anyway, sit back and enjoy the build. I have this center support. I have this center support. This one here goes right there. This one goes where? Not there. Not there. Not there. That one goes right there. Let's see, what else have I got cut? This one is correct. That goes there. And that goes there. Okay, now, you see how this is coming together, you guys? All right. Now, I need that one. This one can work. This one can work here for the door. And I can cut that one for that. All right, I need the back door support right here. So I need to cut another one this same length right here. Okay, there's that one and that one. Now, let's mark this one off. There's that one. bottom door support as long as I have my lines right here I can make these measurements or make these marks on my two by twos and just cut them because everything's laid out measured out There's that bottom support for the door. Let's see. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, at this point I've got most of these cut and in place. There's a couple here at the top of the door, but I want to have the frame basically put together tight so that I can get a good measurement and a good cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp this bottom board down and this is gonna be the basis for all the rest of them lining up. So check it out. Get that right, get that right on my mark. Clamp those down, so now I have a solid piece to go off of. All right, you guys have seen a pocket hole driller. So I'm only using this. This is a Craig two pocket hole jig. I'm only going to use one. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball that, line it up on the center of that two by two. Clamp it down. The expensive ones go in a vise. I don't have a vise. Had a vise. It went to a friend's house and got destroyed. But that's okay. We'll do it the easy way. We'll do it the poor boy way. Okay, so check it out, you guys. This other side wall is finished. So I might have to put some bracing right in here afterwards because I want to do a uh, want to do one of those propane bottles in there. Not in there, but attached to the side. So I got to put some supports in there so that it'll support that. Got the door put together. Everything is laid out. And uh, I'm going to set the other one on top of it just to make sure they line up. So here's, uh, let's cross our fingers. Hey guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. I just want to jump in here really quick and say thanks for checking out this video. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. If there's something that we need to add to it, something you think I should change, or uh, just what your thoughts are on this build. And hey, right down there below, I know that most of you guys are probably not subscribed. Do me a huge favor, subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, I'll let you guys get back to the video. Thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Okay, phone call's over with. Let's see how well these line up and what we might need to tweak a little bit here and there. That looks good, that looks good. All right, so there it is with both. Okay, so there we go with both of them put together. That's both sides right on top of each other. They line up real nicely. Got a window in one side, got the door in the other side. And uh, sweet, at this point, uh, I'm done with my layouts on the first piece of plywood. So I'm going to cut that to size, both lengthwise and widthwise, and uh, 
then I am going to attach those side pieces. All right, I need you guys to tell me if I'm the only one that gets distracted and does stuff just real quick. <laughs> so, I cut the plywood and I got the sides mounted. I am going to do some supports across the front and a couple across the top here and maybe a couple back here um, so I'm gonna do that the same way I'm gonna drill some pocket holes and get them screwed together but I don't know I'm pretty excited you guys check it out here you go we'll show you the next step probably after I get it done <laughs> anyway you can see how that goes together pretty easy laid it out on the board cut all the pieces pocket hole screwed them together and uh, yeah worked out great we've got the uh, most of the frame most of the framing done and uh, you can see I've got that one inside wall put up and yeah so I did that side as just kind of a proof of concept so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did on that side I'm gonna put this side together and get it installed so that you guys have an idea so the reason I'm doing the inside walls first is because I really want one piece see how that whole wall there is all one piece that's what I want on the insides. I don't insides. I don't want to have to piece it together. So I'm doing the interior walls first, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out on the outside, and we're going to run the wiring, and then we're going to do the insulation, and then we're going to do the uh, we're going to do the outside uh, covering. Covering? Does that work? Yeah. We'll cover the outsides once everything's done wiring insulation inside all of that stuff so i'm not going to do insulation back here in what's going to be the galley and i am going to do insulation here because this will be part of the inside walls and then underneath here you can see what i've got going on this whole section right here is going to be basically a foot box so yeah i want the extra length for my feet but I didn't want the extra length for the trailer, so I uh, kind of compromised, and we're doing the galley on top of the foot box. So anyway, that's where we're at, you guys. I am pretty excited about that. Check it out. Let's get the rest of that interior put together, and uh, I'll show you exactly what we did to do that. All right, you guys, this is how we're doing this. I've got this with the white side turned in, because I want that to be on the inside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the inside. I've got this clamped up so it's good and tight. Well, it's mostly tight. I'm going to go on the inside and I'm going to trace where I want to cut on the inside of the trailer, right? So check it out. All right, so now that we're on the inside of the trailer, what I want to do is I want to trace exactly where I want to cut. Because I, I want this to fit on the inside all the way around so I'll show you what I'm doing I'm just taking a sharpie and going right around all of the edges this is going to be on the inside edge again so there's the top and the and the front and then I'm going to trace out the door here and it's okay if I cut the door just a little bit a little bit short because I can come back and trim that out later later in the build okay so that's good there I need this line cut down to there. 
This one's gonna make me look funny. Okay, so all my lines are traced on there. I'm gonna flip that up onto the onto the roof of the little trailer so that I can cut those out. Straight edge, get all my lines solid. Now that that's done, let me show you another thing that I had to do to this so that I could make sure that this went in properly on the inside. Alright, so what I've done is I've taken and I have made some pre-cut blocks that are about 8 inches and they're of one by they're of one by two material and so because my edges of my interior boards go right to the edge of the framing, what I had to do is take and put these spacers in here like this so that the edge of my boards can nail in and be solid on the inside. So I did that in a couple of places all the way around. You can see one down there, there, here, up here. And there's a couple along there so that's what I'm gonna do right here with these just like this so I'm gluing them and hitting them with some brad nails making sure they're level the brad nails will just hold them in place while the glue dries. All right, so on the inside here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some wood glue and I'm gonna run around all these edges that that interior panel is gonna adhere to and then we'll slide the interior piece in and not only will we nail, nail the edges, but the uh, other braces that are in the center will be glued as well.
this I've got some one inch staples in the stapler so I'm gonna get it lined up So now I'm going to go around and staple There's interior panel number two. Now I'm going to get that front wall made up and some more supports in the roof and then we'll do those pieces. You guys want to see me try and slide the roof, the ceiling in here? Alright, check it out. So I've all got it all cut. I'm going to slide it in and try and get it nailed into place by myself. I think I got this. Bear with me. Oh, hi there. Looking good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh you guys, this is sick. That wasn't. Yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna have trim in the corners. It's gonna look sick. White walls, raw wood on the roof. Yeah, I'm down. Can you see me in the dark? I'm pretty stoked right now, you guys. That's looking good. Woo! Hey guys, I'm gonna cut the video off right here and uh, let me know what you think of this rendering. This is kind of what we're going for. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. Like if you do, subscribe if you haven't, and let's go hit the backcountry, you guys.